no more wolves out there. Bloody wolves. <laughs> oh, you were wrong. <laughs> it is time for Name That Wolf. Ow, ow, ow. ow. And we got some great prizes, just like yesterday. Not only do we got a four-pack to the Wolf Pack going down Friday night at the XL Center downtown Hartford, but they're playoff tickets, man. They take on those dirty, stinky Springfield Thunderbirds in the Battle of 91. Game one's tonight. Now, I had heard from some Wolf Pack people that those Rangers... Scooped up some of the best players from the That's Wolfpack the yesterday. You're supposed to go from We're the minors up to the majors. We're going for a championship here. They don't mean squat in the minor leagues. The Jim Caldwell Cup means nothing. Dude, Call I, there. I got called up from Double A AA to Triple A in the minor leagues right before the playoffs. We won the Double A championship. I pitched in the Triple A championship. Yeah. We lost. And how I much? was the one that lost. Yeah. In the, Good thing the you got that league. World Series. You never been able to live oh, that down. God. It's painful to look at that Double A championship ring that I had nothing to do with. I'm kidding. Mm, 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 mm. Give me that number again, Ben. 860-522-3776. 522-ESPN. Operators are standing by. Not only do we have a four-pack to the Wolf Pack Friday night, that's game two of the three-game series against the Springfield Thunderbirds. We also have some Howie Mandel. November 8th, he'll be at the Toyota Oakdale in Wallingford. I wish it was still the round. Is that what they used to call it? It used to be the Oakdale in the round. I saw Liberace there and many other wow. artists. So the artist is up on the stage, and it would move slowly. All oh, the way around so you it was could... like a rotating stage. Yeah. Kurt remembers wow. it. I was there when uh, Delbert McClinton was playing. Mm-hmm. Now, Delbert McClinton is, is the guy that taught John Lennon how to play the harmonica for Love Me Do. So no John Lennon? Not that show? It was past 1980, so no. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> well, Howie Mandel's coming back to the legendary. It used to be known as the Round. Now they just call it the Toyota Oakdale. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. Didn't Howie, part of his act used to be he would put a condom on his head, what? blow it up. It was just it a glove. Blow, it was just a glove? Thank you, Kurt. <laughs> Kurt he was ready with that. He he's was still re- listening, and he's answering the Still working call. the phones. He needed to get Multitasking that fact right Kurt. on our show today. Okay, so it was a glove. It it was a surgical glove. I know That's exactly. Right. It's a right. latex glove. You're right. Um, maybe he will bring that back. It's maybe he's allergic to latex now. So we know him as a germaphobe. Again, uh, you can say hi. You can wave. You can laugh. Just don't touch. Don't touch Howie. Uh, Howie Mandel tickets for you if you don't want that. We have the four pack to the wolf pack. Ow, ow, ow. Ow. Playoff hockey time. Name that wolf's very simple. Dips has got a clue about a wolf. We'll give you some multiple choice possible answers. You pick the right ones. You name that wolf. You will win some tickets. 860-522-3776. Our number is 522-ESPN if you want to name that wolf. Kurt's got some already. You got some in the hopper? Hello, Tom. Tom. What's up, Tom? What's going on? How are you? Tom, it's going to be a, a great day on Friday as the Wolfpack beat the Thunderbirds. Hopefully you will be there. If not, you'll be at the Howie Mandel. Dibs has got some clues about some wolves, some multiple choice. Wait for those as well. Are you ready, Tom? Yes, sir. Tom, I hope you heard the Dan Dockich interview that we had great yesterday. Interview. So great this interview. timber wolf has the nickname Slow Mo. Dan Dockich mentioned his name in yesterday's show. Did he mention A, Kyle Anderson? B, Anthony Edwards, or C, Kevin Garnett? What do you think, Tom? Kyle Anderson. Uh, yeah. Tom sounds disappointed oh, so how sure. easy that I, was. I apologize, dude. <laughs> I mean. I thought this was name that wolf. You, not you hit that out of the ballpark. The tickets. It ain't never coming back. <laughs> Tom, what would you that. like? Want, go to Wolfpack or you want to go see Howie Mandel? Uh, go see the T-Birds win. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, Tom, there you go. Now you wake up. severely disappointed the lead there. He's a big (laughs) T-Bird fan. (laughs) That's why he's so mad. Yep. That's why he's so mad at us. He's a T-Bird fan. You and Amanda Joe. You're going to be tough enough. I'm thinking about going up to Springfield tonight, being a rocket, being like a wolf pack jerk. To all these T-Bird, to all these T-bird Toms careful. out there. Springfield's not the... the There's Hartford, know, dude. I, I get that, <laughs> but you're not in Hartford. True. You're on to their place. That's true. Hartford, we take care of our own... Well, 
<laughs> we take care of 80% of our own around here. <laughs> There's places from... to hide in the XL. It's a tight quarters up there. That's Is right. It? Spring feels a little bit tighter. Okay. Um, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> eight, six, Tom, oh, Is five. Tom still there? He's on hold. Could okay. you put him back on for Yeah, let me get him. Tom, are you still there? Yes, sir. Hey, are they still doing all that construction around the highway and stuff in Springfield? <laughs> oh, forever. Yeah, that's exactly right. Every time I go through there, every time we go to the, uh, whether it's Belmont or one of these other places and we're going through Springfield, always doing the construction. God bless you, man. I, I, I wish <laughs> what, just they live would get in Springfield? Con- yeah, I wish they would get that construction done up there for you. Yeah. Well, if he goes to the T Birds games. <laughs> Thank you, Tom. All right. 860 like Let's me, get man. another contestant well, here. Waterbury's Kirk, who you been got? under construction for 40 years. <laughs> Heather. Hey, right. Heather, how's it going? It's going, gentlemen. How are you? Doing great. Trying to get some winners today. It was a perfect day yesterday, by the way, in, in winter land uh, for the Rob Dibble show. Heather, it's named that wolf. Dibbs has got a clue about a wolf. Wait for the multiple choice. You name that wolf. You got some tickets. Are you ready, Heather? Sweet. Bring right. it on. Heather, I hope you know where your Yankees played their college baseball because this is <laughs> this Yankees pitcher played his college ball for NC State Wolf Pack. A, Michael <laughs> King. B, Carlos Rodon. C, Nestor Cortez. Oh, good God. I hate the Yankees. Um, awesome. <laughs> I like her. That's great. Um, a, Michael King. No. Oh, so sorry, Heather. Try back. Michael King. Guess where Michael King played? Uh, North Carolina. Boston College. Boston, Boston, College. Boston College. I did not know that. Do you know where nasty Nestor Cortez signed to play? I don't think he ended up playing there, but do you know where he signed to play? I don't know. Mexico City Florida State. International. FIU. FIU. It's Carlos Rodon who was the big bruiser at NC State. Rodon versus Godzilla. I'm telling you, man. <laughs> let the kid hit. I wish you guys could see this, Babe Ruth, but, you know. Got to make him a pitcher. He's a Yankee. He's not, even He's not an right angel. Now. I mean, how about we get him healthy so he could do one thing? Can't you swing? Like, what not Shohei the one that had Tommy John? Yes. And still, sw- like, I don't know, put him in the lineup. <laughs> See what happens. Let him at least take BP. Let him at least take BP. I'm telling you, this dude at NC State, if he wasn't pitching, was either DH or first base. It was a Babe Ruth situation in high school. This dude was hitting 450. 20 homers. It, 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 All right, who filled this out, by the way? This is not how you spell Cortez. Cortez is with an S. Cort- that's the Cortez that don't, he discovered the new world. I don't think anybody in Radio Land uh, saw that. I'm dibs. just telling you. 860-522-3776, 522-ESPN. Kurt, who you got? We got Dave. Hey, Dave. Hey, guys. How you doing? Doing Good. great. Dibs has got some wolf clues for you. Wait for the multiple choice. You name that wolf, you get some tickets. Are you ready, Dave? Sounds great. (laughs) These eastern coyotes are all over Connecticut and have been recently found in urban areas. A. Koi wolves. B. Golden wolves. C. Fisher cats. What do you think, Dave? Mm, Well, I know there's fisher cats around here, but are they wolves? That's a good question. I'm going to go with fisher cats because they're all over my yard. So let's go with fisher (laughs) cats. No. Man, you should have trust your instincts oh. there, Dave. They're not wolves. Fisher cats are not and wolves. they scream like babies. It's awful when you go hunting and you hear those things. So the reason they call them coy wolves is because they're somewhat coyote, somewhat wolf. It's the eastern coyote that runs around Connecticut. I was going to ask you if you saw the YouTube video of the dude <laughs> helping the wolf get out of yeah. a bar- barbed wire fence. And, Good then, and, like, the wolf kind of, like, right. gave him a thank you look. Thank you. Absolutely. Yeah. Dude, Aww. animals know when they're in trouble. That's so great. They do. They just have that instinct. 860-522-3776. We got to get somebody in here, Kurt, to name that wolf. Who you got? Chris. Chris, what is up? Ow, ow, ow. Ow, ow, ow. Chris, a part of the wolf pack, knows exactly yeah, what's going on with pack. Name That Wolf. Chris Dibs has got a wolf clue and some multiple choice. You pick the right one. You're naming that wolf for some tickets. Are you ready, Chris? <laughs> All right, Chris, there was a new wolf in the Teen Wolf sequel because Michael J. Fox was sit- sick of putting on that makeup every day. It took hours to yeah, put it on. Yeah. So who played Todd Howard in Teen Wolf 2? Was it A, Macaulay Culkin? 
B, Jason Bateman, or C, Sammy Sosa? Jason Bateman. Uh, yeah. All right, Chris. Absolutely. Awesome job. And he was not home alone. I have yet to see Teen Wolf 2. That might be a C. Oh, no, you it's, don't want to. Okay, never oh, mind. <laughs> it wasn't one of Jason's greatest films, but it was funny. Chris, what would you like? You want to go to the Wolf Pack? You want to go see Howie Mandel? Howard Mandel, please. Excellent. Awesome. Stay on hold. Hook up Chris with some Howie Mandel. Yeah, Teen Wolf 2. Teen Wolf, like it and there by a raccoon or something. And I turned into Teen Wolf. <laughs> I had that dream. Oh, goodness gracious. Never happened. Oh, man. His his sister, Justine Bateman. I remember her. Um, what was she on? She was on uh, a really good TV show back in the day. I think, family Ties. Oh, fam really? Family That's ties. the same? That's his sister. So she was the big star at first. Now he's the gigantic star that... Uh, I think that's crazy. And looking at Jason Bateman in Teen I thought Wolf Bateman 2. was great in Hancock and some of oh, these yeah. other movies. Like where, the recent yep, Jason Bateman yep. stuff's hilarious. Ozark, he's absolutely amazing. Has he aged a day? Nope. Nope. He looks exactly like he did Horrible in Teen Wolf fantastic. 2. The Switch is fantastic. These Some of these movies, he's just fantastic. In. Yeah. But I agree. That was... Uh, Teen Wolf 2 was not one of his uh, Academy Awards. I'm going to have to rewatch this. I'm not trusting Kurt. Uh, Kurt's a sequel hater. Really? <laughs> John Wick comes out this month. I heard. There's I a lot the 24th. of people. Oh, now, where are we on the fourth? Fourth John Wick? John Wick 4. They say this is the best one. He's still mad about who killed, killed his, his dog. dog. Still on the same yep. hunt. Huh? And he's still trying to get out of the whole Hitman club. Ugh. I mean, that's the whole th point here. Good luck. He's got to try to survive. That's I kind of dig that. And I, I like that um, when they go to the hotels, they can't do anything in the hotel. You know, it's kind of like Highlander where you can't do anything inside a church. I kind of like there's <laughs> like, hey, this, there's is, rules. This, this is a killing free zone right here. There's rules. Church, yeah. hotel. And uh, but John Wick, man. If you haven't watched any of these movies, start with the first one. My, I'm going to force my you wife have to, to right? watch, watch. Cause my, I want to go to the movie theater and watch this. It might be the last one. So I want to see it in the movie theater like I saw the first three. And my wife's like, do I have to go with you? Oh, like, yeah, come you gotta on. Go with me, how so. many things have you gone to that A you ton. didn't want to go to? You know, exactly. how, you know how many country shows I've been to? Oh. Dozens. Oh, and you she, don't play that. She, you won't love come, going. she won't come to Shine Down or something like that. She won't do it. She won't she go to she won't do Rob Zombie. No way, Alex. No way. And this is coming from somebody who went to dozens of Grateful Dead shows back in her day. Well, she's a, a flower child. She likes that stuff. I think it was the flower children aspect of my wife that was going on at those things. The grilled cheese and the tie dye shirts and stuff. Only deadheads would know what I'm talking about right now. And my wife reminds me about, about that all the time. Whenever I say, "Can I have some grilled cheese?" I can't have grilled cheese. It gives me flashbacks. Oh, my Are you gosh. serious, hon? Oh, my gosh. Can't have grilled cheese. The way station is to die for over oh, there. Oh, absolutely. The now you're talking about Xfinity. Nothing better than that stuff over there. Yeah. I'm looking forward to a lot of the shows that are coming around through Live Nation, which, by the way, Howie Mandel, Toyota Oakdale, Live Nation. But the Xfinity Live Nations are a lot of fun because great grilled cheese. I mean, I'm the <laughs> you probably never saw this movie, but I did because Coco was um, younger and uh, it was 2016 Zootopia. No, he's one of the voices and it's out. It's, it's, it's awesome. It's awesome. I think, uh, was it? Alba. What is it? Jessica Alba? It, no, is it Isdris? Um, I, I the African-American 
actor from London. Um, Idris Elba. Alba. Yeah, he's in it, um, and it's just great. It's just a, it's a great film uh, about this little girl rabbit that comes into town, becomes a cop, and they don't take her seriously because she's a female rabbit, and she ends up being you know the star. And now were Jason, the other cops rabbits or are they human no, beings? They were all big. They were big all humans. Big, they, no, they're all they're all animals. Oh, well then that Zootopia. makes Zootopia. Okay, Zootopia, and Jason Bateman's character is a fox, and he's a thief. Of course, and she kind of catches him early in, and but then he helps her with the case. Anyway, I don't want to give too much away. Yeah. But Jason Bateman is fabulous in the movie. Anyway, Spoiler I'm a alert. dude. I'm a sucker for the the movies and stuff like that for kids. I start I, talking to the guys on the line. You know, the winner is over here, and I come back into the conversation. I'm like, "What are you guys even talking about at this point?" Jason Bateman. <laughs> he did the voiceover in Zootopia in 2016. I did and not it's one know of my that. Favorite kid movies. It's fantastic. I'll have to fantastic. check it out. All right, Jim Moore Jr., he joined us right off the bat. Yeah. I mean, you talk leadoff position on the Rob Dibble Show. That's how important Jim Moore Jr. is. He got the leadoff spot. He nailed it uh, four for four in the interview. We're going to replay that for you next. It's the Rob Dibble Show with Ben Darnell on your afternoon drive. Kurt and John are in the back room keeping the show on the air. We'll be right back. The 5 o'clock hour.